In today's video, I'm going to be comparing three different 4x6 dye sublimation wireless printers. Whew, that's a mouthful. And if you're a Print Club member, be on the lookout. You're going to get some bonus photos this month. All right, let's roll that intro and get into this. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. They were filmed in my living room before. <laughs> I needed my living room table to film this uh, because I need the space. Yeah, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Laney. They were so confident that their product was better, they wanted me to put it to the test. So here I am, I'm stacking it up against the Kodak Instant Dock Printer. Of course, we got the Laney, and then we got the HP Sprocket Studio. I think it's what it's called, officially. So to determine which one's actually better, I'm gonna break it down into seven categories. First one's gonna be, what's in the box? What's it come with? All aspects of connecting, such as power, connecting it to the app, getting the paper loaded, all that sort of thing. App control, app features such as the print options, things in there, how user-friendly it is. Print speed, which one is faster? Next, I'm gonna go over build quality and also just its general aesthetic and lastly and probably the most important thing out of all of these categories is going to be the print quality itself because that's really what matters most right you want the best looking print you possibly can get so which one is it going to be which is the best one and which one's best for you let's find out so what's in the box everything comes with you know a power brick and some information guides, things like that. The power bricks is something I wanna focus on. It's worth pointing out, if you wanna travel with these, and size is always crucial when you wanna travel, right? You don't wanna have this bulky thing. And the power bricks for each one of them range in the fact of their size. Uh, the smallest one is the Laney, all contained into one power brick right at the plug. The HP and the Kodak, they are a plug plus giant uh, brick as then a then the cord off of that. And I don't, I don't like that. There's two more things that stand out. The uh, instant dock printer by Kodak comes with the uh, little dongle adapter for iPhone. Uh, they all come with sample paper as well in the box. But here's the difference. You get 10 photos with the HP and you get 10 photos with the Kodak. You get 20 photos right out of the gate with the Laney. So the point for this round, what's in the box, goes to Laney. I hope I'm saying the name right too. Laney, Laney, <laughs> I'm butchering it. I, I, I have a feeling I'm butchering the name. Next category is build quality slash appearance. Which one is better? So the HP sprocket, clunky. The paper dock is locked in place, but there's a switch on the bottom. It comes apart for transport, I guess. It doesn't have anywhere you can really put it. I guess you can stack it. This right here, it, it's exposed permanently. These dye sublimation process printers, dust is the enemy, a hair is the enemy. If that gets in there, you can get this weird streak in your photos. You don't want that. You want this thing to be sealed off when you're not using it. And this doesn't do that. When you put this back together, which isn't really easy to do. There, there we go. Uh, you pretty much just keep it there and leave it. Um, otherwise you're gonna get dust in there. Moving on over to the instant dock printer. Um, it's a little bit better, I would say. And this one is smaller, the machine itself. It's the smallest of the three, but it closes up so dust doesn't get in there, which is cool and kind of looks like a speaker. So, but what do you do with this? Well, it's actually kind of cool. You flip it over and you put this on the bottom like that and then compact. That's really cool. It's a much better system than this, but one flaw. The paper is exposed and dust can get in there, hair can get in there, and you can run into some problems. It's not sealed off. Which brings us to the Laney. Pulls out like so, closes, seals, no dust. Little door closes. There's magnets on the top of this that stick on here. <laughs> Look how sleek that is. Looks like an Xbox. You guys know I like Xbox. And the design of this is 
better in my opinion just because of the fact that it seals up not worry about dust getting inside of this as well as the paper and i have two dogs and a cat so that is a big issue in the justin and the chris headquarters here so that is a massive plus worth noting though this one in its compact mode is bigger this is a little bit more easy and more manageable to move around in addition to its smaller power brick so i would travel with this a lot more so if you're looking for something in that regards point to laney the connecting experience and how do they connect and be able to print your photos all three of these have different ways you can go about printing your photos the hp sprocket studio this uses bluetooth to print your photos and that's the only option that you have the laney has wi-fi as well as being able to connect to your computer via usb c and the kodak instant dock printer this one connects via bluetooth as well as the dock on top you can plug your phone right into it and be able to print away this is going to be kind of a personal preference the wi-fi one is nice to have because you can have it anywhere in your house room office wherever you're going to be printing these things it's very mobile it's handy to have however it's kind of annoying set your wi-fi to this then your phone doesn't have internet during that entire time so you may miss out on some notifications for me i would love to see this have bluetooth like these guys maybe have an option to have bluetooth with wi-fi that would be super cool so the point for this round goes to kodak app here we go this is i think one of the most crucial things because that is your main user experience and the app for each of them range. They do a little bit different things and connecting to them are a little bit different. And my experience with them have been different. Each one of them comes with an instruction book. Here's an instruction book for the Kodak Woo! and then the sprocket. On the back of the HP, there's a QR code for you to scan. It takes you to the website, which then you can click a link, then it will redirect you to download the app for the sprocket. Super handy. Laney on the back put a direct link to download the app as well. Kodak on the back has nothing. So you must be thinking it's inside the, you're smart. There are, look at that. There's an Android and an Apple. Not for the printer app. I, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. They give you instructions for something that doesn't come with this printer. It directs you to the Kodak printer case. It has special paper that you can print it out and peel it off and it's pre-cut pre and then you put it in a clear case and then put it on your phone super cool takes you the app to do it but there's no other qr code in here to download an app to use this thing so i went into the app store and downloaded the specific app insta doc printer it's not the even the right one it's maybe an outdated one or something i don't know uh, i just had to guess and find another kodak app it took me some time to figure out super frustrating kodak fix that that is not good but once i found the app itself it was super simple to use and pretty self-explanatory to operate hp1 took me some time to connect once i downloaded the app it walked me through some instructions on how to get it you know connected make sure you load the paper things like that but then that's where it, it fell short it tried to connect and connect and connect and connect over and over i said unable to connect uh so that was frustrating but af after that i didn't have any problems the only one i haven't had any sort of at all different <laughs> issues with connecting and using the app just works flawlessly every single time is the laney so the point for this category goes to laney moving on to the next round print options they all have pretty much the same options in the world of you know printing options such as filters editing cropping you can even put frames over your, your photos draw on them add stickers it's pretty cool right before printing you can do layouts and stuff the one that does stand out a little bit more than the rest i would say is the hp sprocket studio because you can do what is called tiles and you can print like six photos for one photo so you can have this jumbo print that you kind of stick your photos together like tiles i wanted to print enough sample photos and not waste them all just on one essential print so i didn't get to test that out but i i do want to try that i think it'd be really fun so the point for this round goes to the hp sprocket studio now that we've gotten connected and we picked out a photo well, let's get that thing printed which brings us to the next category print speed Ow! the hp sprocket uh, took about 40 seconds just for the photo to send to the printer, which, you know, it's not a long time, which isn't a big deal, but the other printers, they do it in about half the time. 
So once the photo was sent to the HP Sprocket, uh, it took about a minute and a half to print the photo. The Kodak Doc printer took a minute and 15 seconds to a minute 20 seconds to print the photo, and Eleni took a minute and six seconds to print the photo. So the winner of this round is pretty clear. That is the lady for print speed. Does a good job. Last category and the most important one, print quality. Which one has the best prints? Some of these issues that I'm pointing out with these printers can be overlooked as long as those photos are chef's kiss beautiful. Let's take a closer look, shall we, and find out. So what I've done is I printed the same photo that I took from my phone, from my iPhone uh, 12 Max Pro, whatever the freak is called, uh, and I've printed them on these printers. Same settings, same everything. Here they are. So right here we've got to the left is the Kodak, the middle is the Laney, and the one on the right is the HP Sprocket. At first glance, the first one that just pops to me is the Kodak. It's a lot more saturated than the rest of them. But is that a good thing? Mm, I don't know. It's not true to photo. It's a little blurry. It's not horrible, but it's a little soft. If you look over at the HP Sprocket, it's a lot more sharp than the Kodak. But the Sprocket, I don't know, it looks like it's pixelated a little bit. The, the Laney is tack sharp and it looks like it is on my phone. It's a little bit more warm and it was a little bit more warm that day. And I think the Laney did a much, much better job at capturing true to like color or true to photo than the other two did. This one is of uh, me and my sister. I'm wearing the uh, pink wig with the yellow crown kidding uh that is my sister i actually made that crown for her 3d printing and everything this is a halloween party she put on in 2017 i think and i printed this one one because of the colors and it was a low resolution print so this is actually blown up essentially so i want to see how these printers handled a lower resolution photo see what happened put it to, put it to the test and i gotta say all three did a pretty good job all, all three of them i have no real complaints now that i think there is a winner kodak and i actually prefer that one over the laney one in my opinion laney's true to tone i'm noticing but if i had to choose one just like at a party and i had to uh, look at them side by side if i was going to choose one i actually would go with the kodak um it's not as sharp though it is slightly just slightly blurry but i still actually like that one a little bit more so this one's laney they say it on here hp and kodak i'm going to mix these up and then i'm going to look at them blindly and which one do i like better Whew, there's like there is a major difference here <laughs> i'm noticing already this middle one it's, it stands out over the other ones. However, there's a massive amount of artifacting going on. Uh, and so that one, I don't like <laughs> at all. I'm already seeing which one I prefer better. I'm going to guess this one right here is the HP. It's That one's good. But this one right here, probably my favorite one. It's a little more sharp. It's clearer. There's no artifacting going on. And I, yeah, I like this one the most. I'm guessing that's HP. I'm guessing this is Laney. I'm guessing this is the Kodak one. Yeah, that's why I'm locked in. That's my final answer. Let's see if I got it right. Did I do it right? I did, I got it right. This is Kodak. <laughs> um, it's colorful, but it looks like trash. Well, this one's Laney. It is, look at that. It's my, it's my, yeah, that's good. Um, that is a great photo. Um, it's true to uh, the phone. It looks exactly like it is on the screen, within reason, of course. Um, there is, you know, brightness differences that you're gonna have, but color-wise, that looks pretty dang close. And that looks awesome. And then this one is the HP one. Uh, it's not horrible. The for this particular photo, these two printers did an excellent job printing it. Uh, Kodak did a terrible job, I thought. And I was wondering, well, maybe it's just better paper quality. Maybe there's a difference in that because I'm looking at them and the lane is a little more glossy than the other two. Slightly different feel. It's not hugely noticeable, but I thought maybe, maybe there's a difference. So I took the paper from the HP and put it into the lady and printed it. See what happened. And it did a beautiful job <laughs> today. Fantastic job. Uh, so it's not the paper. It's the printers, which is surprising. I figured they'd be similar technologies in here, um, but they're not. They are vastly different. And uh, I would say as for print quality goes, it goes to the Laney. The Laney's, man, the quality is so good. 
point goes to Lainey. Good job, guys. It, these two have been inconsistent. There's been some that this prints that are fantastic. Then there's other times they're just trash. They're like out of focus or just way oversaturated. Same with the HP, either they're way under or way over. Um, they're just not consistent. The Lainey has been consistent every single time. This is the, the, the clear winner of of these three printers here. And the Amazon reviews of the Lainey is extremely high over the other ones. So that is worth noting too. So you guys also agree that this thing is killer. I will leave links to all the printers uh, and, and supplies for the printers in the description below. Do you have another one? I know there's a couple others out there that I hope to try out and put it against the Lainey and see if it is the true reigning king of four by six instant printers. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, your thoughts on the ones that you got and thank you again to laney for sponsoring today's video you did a good job and thank you so much for sponsoring the video and having the faith that your product is good enough to be put against two other major competitors kodak and hp and you blew them out of the water i'm very surprised so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one now get out there make some art and print it while you're out there